เรไปไปล่ะเออ give me a city man let's let's do let's do let's do a city before we get out of here man let's get a good one chat anybody pick a city any city yeah I'm looking at the chat now. Somebody say you should get a a, a dart, a dartboard. I just throw the dart. He said Boston, man. We got. He said capital city of California, New DTLA. I have no idea what DTLA is. Oh yeah, uh, Nate Campbell wanted you to do the Boston MLK statue. Yeah, it's like an abomination. Boston. Oh, the Marxist statue. It's horrific. <laughs> they say that was a uh, one of the. Pillars of of the Marxism, right? Creates issues that don't make sense or some shit. You know, yep. you know oh, really? what it looks like? Uh, it looks like that John Podesta art. Well, they literally um, said get rid of statues that have, have meaning and history, and replace them with statues that are that make no sense. Shapes. Exactly. Wow. Well, they're Another doing protest today in Cambridge, calling for answers in the deadly shooting of a college student. Jump in! 20-year-old Zaid Fossil was shot last Wednesday. Officers say he lunged at them with a large knife. However, surveillance video and witnesses suggest that he was running away from officers trying to hurt himself. Community members... Okay, the so then they shot him and they helped him. Great assist, cops. Case closed. Protesting the shooting, the DA's office confirms a judge will oversee an independent investigation into Faisal's death. That kid, man. Fuck that kid, man. I don't give two shits, man. Fuck it. Um, who gives a shit? Fuck it. Um, let's see. Uh, what else is going on down here? Um, here we go. Here you go. In the nation's oldest public park, Boston's newest work of art is inspiring conversations about racial and social justice in the city today. The Embrace honors the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King and the love they built right here in Boston. I feel hopeful and inspired. After what the fuck he is tried that? to marry a white woman and his handlers told him that he couldn't be... He wouldn't be able to be the leader of the burgeoning civil rights movement if he had a white wife. So they told him he had to find a black woman and they hooked him up with a very, very, very fair skinned woman named Coretta Scott. And she was basically a beard in the bearer of his children. And he, he, and he, 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 and I feel bad for him, man. He loved that white woman, man. He was with that white woman for years too. And like Obama. Imagine, well, that white, that white woman, Obama, like, rejected him. Obama at, proposed and she rejected him twice. Damn. This woman, this woman, like, actually, like, loved Martin Luther King. Um, and he loved her, too. And it just wasn't, it just, it just, he, he, they couldn't sell him a guy from Boston, you know, bred in Boston. They couldn't sell him to the South to segregate itself with a white woman. And he had already been tapped to be the guy that was gonna be, be who he was. And they just couldn't sell it, man. They said, his handlers told him, look, man, you gotta ditch the white girl. And I you know, said, so you can get you a high yellow broad, but you cannot, she gotta have some black in her. And um, this is well documented. I've done several videos on this. I may put the video I did in the link in the in the in the, in the back chat. I never heard that before. I feel affirmed. The 20 foot tall and 25 foot wide bronze sculpture depicts the embrace between Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King after he won the Nobel Peace Prize is in 1964. I I've never felt this sense of joy and excitement from people all over the place. <laughs> The work of art, aptly titled The Embrace, shines a light on the power of collective action and the role of women as 
leaders, Dr. and Mrs. King's 14 year old granddaughter reflecting on the power of love. This is almost like love 360 because this monument is dedicated to their love and we really need more love in this world. Standing side by side with the architects who helped bring the embrace to life, artist Hank Willis Thomas says the sculpture is the work of many. And everyone showed up to meet the moment and everyone did their part. So it's kind of amazing to actually get to witness the product of yeah. thousands of people's work. Dr. and Mrs. King for first met in Boston. One of their first dates was on the Comet, where the embrace of their love and shared values now stands. It already feels kind of timeless. It feels like it belongs there already. More than a thousand people were here as the embrace was unveiled for the first time. It stands in the 1965 Freedom Plaza here in the Comet. Am, am I wrong to think that if Dr. King heard most of these people's politics, it would make him sick? You know, don't they go the opposite of his teaching, like what he was, what he was all about? I think it is all what he was about. Yeah, I, 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 you talking about a speech versus his politics? Well, yeah, that's, that's what I'm asking. It would contradict his speech he made. On, 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 yeah, I mean, maybe. So he didn't. He he wasn't about that. And he was pretty woke for his time. He was a communist. Let's just yeah. say it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything you read in your history book, they lied to you, dude. Yeah. All the yeah. Everything, dude. I. I Nah, I erased all my history. But it's okay because I feel I was like to too. You know? your We're health and this together. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how it actually is for some people in America. It still is the '60s. Have on your health and heartbreaking statistics. It is born to black women. It's pretty choppy, Chief. Like to die compared to white. Oh really? Is, is, is it really choppy? Oh yeah, real bad. Okay, the last one was choppy. A little bit, yeah. They got worse. Okay. Uh, let me um, let me um, try to fix it, man. But I'm excited for Dr. King's uh, birthday. You know. I'm excited because I get the day off. Must be nice. It is. I didn't never had before. Now I get it off, but it's. I don't know. Oh, come on. We're coming up on the month where you get to hear about all those famous black inventors. <laughs> That's oh, my yeah. favorite month, February. I... Yeah, they, man. Can, they gave black people the shortest month of the year. <laughs> because they racist. Listen, man, um, it's still, it's, we got so much to overcome still. On your health and some heart rate. <laughs> Babies born to black, black women are more than twice as likely to die compared to white infants. And black women are more than three times as likely to die in or after pregnancy than their white counterparts. What do I think about that? Well, I mean, do they take into do they take into account uh, conditions of birth? You know, like are they just comparing? Are they are making an apples apples comparison? Or are they just comparing like you know some white lady in the suburbs versus some? No, these you know, these is true. No, this is actually true, man. Like the, the, the biology. The, my wife was just in the hospital, man. She had preeclampsia, a very, very hard pregnancy, man. What causes that? Like, what, what? It, it's, a, it's something that affects black women much more. Um, Beyonce had a rough pregnancy. Serena had a rough pregnancy. Black women just are more like um, hypertensive. I, yeah, we're we're we're, we're, we're we, we have a, we have our women die more, and uh, the babies die more. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, that's it's everywhere in the world. It's not just America. They're mm -hmm. trying to make it seem like it's America. Can right. you imagine Africa and Africa? Those babies die. But oh, I, in, my in kid, the hospital my... your wife went to, was there no sun sister staff in there? Yeah, there's plenty of sun sisters. It's a great hospital, man. In DC, exactly. My kids are are half on Brito, but uh, my oldest son was born with his liver on the outside of his body. She had a lot. Of, we had a lot of trouble with her pregnancy, or that first one, wow. but. Uh, that yeah, same causes. here. Same here. Did you really? Yeah. So yeah, know. my wife had that, but I mean, the staff were great, and it was a very diverse staff. I mean, all this is this is all bullshit. What they're spewing, I think. They're yeah. they're trying to blame racism for exactly. biological differences. That's ridiculous. I just I just wonder, like, like you like you said, there was you know obvious that there's real medical differences, right? Which I like makes sense. But I'm always skeptical about these. Any kind of anytime they start quoting studies and, and numbers, 
because you know they don't give you the 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 gist of it. They don't tell you what they're what they're comparing. It's like the like the wage gap, you know, was but an example. You know what I mean? Like they don't compare hours worked. Different well, they just jobs. In, they interpret the studies the way they want to. Exactly. I think they oh, said I, like um, in Black Americans, there's a high rates of diverticulitis, but when they go into Africans who eat a traditional diet, they don't find it almost at all. So it's like when we're here and we're eating Western food and processed food, we're more likely to develop that, and it doesn't happen in Africa. It doesn't mm-hmm. happen in anywhere that they eat their native diets. You know, it, it's pretty, pretty much diverticulitis is a Western Babies thing. Babies born to black women are more than twice as likely to die compared to white infants. And black women are more than three times as likely to die in or after pregnancy than their white counterparts. Many health leaders are trying to reverse that trend and here with some insight is Dr. Allison Bryant Mantha, a maternal fetal medicine specialist and the senior medical director for health equity at Mass General Brigham. Good morning, Dr. Bryant Mantha. We talk a lot about access to care in communities of color. Are these startling statistics due to healthcare access issues? Thanks and good morning, Todd. Um, I agree, it really is heartbreaking. It's really also completely completely unnecessary. So I'd say, sure, um, differences in our community's access to care is part of the problem, but there are really many others. It's also about how we treat people once they enter the doors of our healthcare system and how we listen to them. They bend over backwards for Black people when they come in. The thing is that we're different. So the, 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 the system is made for, the medical system is made mainly for white people. Not made for them, but the studies, like the most of the studies, most of the participants in the studies, most of the data is of, of white people because they're the majority population in this country. The black people, black women gestate the babies differently. Like the, the baby stay, uh, which one stays in longer? Isn't it one that the baby stays in the womb longer? I think Asian, tigers. You think it's the tigers? I think so. You talked I, about I it actually, before. I actually know this woman. <laughs> uh, she lives in my town. But yeah, this is like all the sun people in Massachusetts. It's hilarious. Yeah, because it's like, it's like, um, it, it, it's like the, 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 we're so different, but we all have the a doctors, a lot of doctors treat us as, the, as if we're the same. But we're so, so, so different as groups. Even though we're the same species, technically. Um, so the R- I, tigers are the R strategy for the K, like the oh, long term. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. So it says the average length of gestation is about five days shorter than black populations than the white populations. Okay, so they carry their baby. We carry our babies like a week less than white people. And that's and that and that seems like nothing when you're talking about nine to ten months, but that's a lot, man. If you're talking about over, like the little subtle differences like that, show up big in the in the real world, and that's something that like you can't refute. No pro black can refute that because. They have all the data from all the hospitals all over the world. Da, 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 da. No pro-black can refute that. Now, only thing a pro-black could do is say, yeah, that's because, you know, we we, we come out early because of melanin and we the best and, you know, God. Da, da. But you can't refute that it actually is. So we cook the baby less. The baby stays in the womb less with us. Could that also have something to do with what we see in the world, the differences, the you know, the 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 gaps in achievement, the gaps in development, the gaps in innovation, maybe. Also, but, planning. Don't, don't black like babies fa- hit physical markers faster? Black babies walk earlier. They talk earlier, yeah. and they um, in in in, but they plateau at about fourteen. So mm-hmm. black babies, we we, 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 we we hit all these markers before white babies, but then we plateau at 14. I mean, we flatten out. Like 
it, we're, we're on this arc it, with development, and then when it comes to fourteen, it just flatlines. And, and so, and I, does that is, is that why a lot of black you know people you know seem juvenile or whatever? I don't know. Maybe, but they have the studies now. Pro black could see that as like, yeah, man, we walk faster because you know we black and melanin. We better than uh, da, 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 da. We talk earlier because we black and melanin. Da, 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 da. But then when you get to fourteen and you plateau, well, you know the white. Of course, white people gonna say that because you know what I'm saying. Of course, they gonna say that. I mean, it's 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 it's, it's, it's weird, man. Not you know these, these things are not always race, man. They try to make everything. I mean, not race, but racism. These things are always. It's not racism. It's just is what it is, man. You know, I would say race? most of it's not racism at this point. Yeah, I but mean they're not, framing it as though the doctors are neglecting. The yeah, they yeah. frame they frame everything like that. But that's I mean that's ridiculous. Like you're a black woman, you come in the hospital. And 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 they're doing all this neglect of black women, and nobody's got any cell phone videos. It's it just I mean, they really, but people really believe that black women walk in the hospital, and the doctors are like looking at them, going, Psh, "Look at some <laughs> people over here, like just make them wait." You know, just make yeah, them wait. Right. where's that white lady at? Yeah, right. Uh, well, it's there's only Asians happen. left. I guess we'll take an Asian before the, before the some people. Yeah, like, that's, that's not I mean, happening. That's I mean, not what's happening, man. Um. That's not what happened. To them. Let me get out of here, man. Um, salute. Great show, guys, tonight. I'm going to take one day off, either Sunday or Monday. So I, it's probably going to be Monday. So I may be back tomorrow, but I got to gotta take a day off, man. So, no days off, Chief. Hey, yeah, Chief, man. so is this every night? You do this every night pretty much? What time? I, I do I do it most nights, man. Um, um, I can't. You just have to check the community tab. All right. 